Welcome to Offshore Weather Forecast Session. I'm Yu Hongsun. I'm one of the MLTI ambassadors. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an offshore weather forecast with green screen technique. Weather can impact the safety of fishermen or sailors out on the water. By using green screen technology, we can create a realistic and informative weather forecast that can help fishermen or sailors plan their day accordingly. In this session, I will be walking you through the process of creating a green screen weather forecast using WeVideo or iMovie. We will cover everything from scripting, setting up a green screen, and filming the footage, to editing and adding graphics. By the end of this presentation, you will have a solid understanding of how to use this technology to create informative and engaging weather forecast for people. Today's agenda. 1. Scripting for an offshore weather forecast video, 10 minutes. 2. Students scripting activity, 50 minutes. Students are divided into groups of five members. Students are going to brainstorm, research, and script today's offshore weather forecast. 3. Introduction of green screen, 10 minutes. 4. Students shooting footage activity, 50 minutes. Students are getting ready to shoot a green screen footage. 5. Overview video editing software. We are going to use WeVideo or iMovie, 10 minutes. 6. Students editing video activity, 50 minutes. Students are going to import footage into WeVideo or iMovie. Edit green screen footage, key out or remove the green background and replace it with a background of your own choice. Students are also going to enhance the video by adding music, using picture-in-picture, -picture, split screen, voiceover, transition, and title. 7. Wrap up the video and publish it. 15 minutes. Scripting for an offshore weather forecast video. There are three important elements. Safety is the most important. Offshore weather conditions can be unpredictable and dangerous, especially for those who work or travel on the water. Weather forecast can help people prepare for potential hazards, such as high winds, rough seas, and storms. Number two, planning and economic impact. Knowing the weather conditions in advance can help people plan their activities and make informed decisions. For example, fishermen can use weather forecasts to determine the best time and location to fish, while industries such as shipping, oil, and tourism can plan their routes to make informed decisions and avoid bad weather. Therefore, having an offshore weather forecast is important for safety, planning, and minimizing the impact of bad weather on people and industries. How to write a script for offshore weather forecast? First, current conditions. Provide an overview of the current weather conditions, including the temperature, wind speed, and direction, wave height, and any other relevant information. Second, forecast. Provide a detailed forecast for the next 24 to 48 hours, including any potential hazards, such as storms, high winds, or rough seas. Use maps, charts, and other views to help people understand the forecast. Third, safety information. 
provide safety information for those who may be affected by the weather conditions, such as boaters or fishermen. This can include information on how to prepare for the conditions and any potential hazards to be aware of. The last conclusion end with a summary of the forecast. Encourage people to stay informed and to stay safe. When writing an offshore weather forecast, it is important to use clear and concise language. Here is an example of offshore weather forecast. Please take a look. Here is an example of the offshore weather forecast. Good morning. This is your offshore weather forecast for Thursday, May 18th, off the coast of Maine. Increasing winds and wave heights of 4 to 6 feet due to a low pressure system moving in from the west. And a small craft advisory is in effect. A chance of thunderstorms by late afternoon or early evening. Stay safe. Part 2, Students' Scripting Activity, 15 Minutes. Part 3, Introduction of Green Screen. What is a green screen? A green screen is also known as a chroma key screen. It is a type of background used in photography, film, and video production. It is a green-colored background that is used to isolate the subject or object in the foreground, which is later replaced with a different background in post-production using video editing software such as Wave Video or iMovie. In addition to green, blue can also be used. The reason Green is used as a background color is because it is a color that is not commonly found in human skin tones or clothing, making it easier to separate the subject from the background. However, other colors can also be used as a background, such as blue or even black or white. If you use other colors, such as black or white, for chroma keying, you will need to have specialized lighting and equipment. How does green screen work? The green screen works by capturing the footage of the subject or object in front of the green screen and then rep replacing the green screen in the video with another background. This can be done by using video editing software such as Wii Video, iMovie, etc. that can differentiate between the green color and the subject or object in the foreground and then remove the green color to reveal the new background. Where is green screen used? Green screens are commonly used in movies, TV shows, and other video productions to create special effects and to place the characters or objects in different locations or environments. They are also used in video conferencing and virtual events to create custom backgrounds for participants. Why is green screen important in classrooms? Green screen is not just important for helping students create a weather forecast in classrooms. There are so many more that it can do for learning. First of all, it enhances visual learning. Green screens allow teachers to create dynamic and interactive visual learning experiences for students. 
by replacing the green screen with custom backgrounds or animations, teachers can create a more engaging learning environment. Secondly, it increases student engagement. Green screen technology can capture students' attention and imagination, making learning more enjoyable and memorable, and increasing student engagement and participation in the classroom. Thirdly, it provides opportunities for creativity. Green screens provide opportunities for students to express their creativity by creating and editing their own videos, which can foster students' problem-solving, critical thinking, and communication skills. Fourthly, it supports distance learning. With the rise of remote and hybrid learning, green screens can be used to create virtual backgrounds that help students feel more connected and engaged in the classroom, and feel more present and involved, even when they are learning from a distance. Lastly, it facilitates collaborative learning. Green screens can be used to create. Group projects and collaborative activities that require students to work together to create videos or other content. This can help build teamwork and communication skills. How to shoot green screen videos? Number one, have large enough green screen to fit your subject and the camera. It makes it easier to crop the footage. Number two, the green screen is flat and wrinkle-free. Any bumps or folds can create shadows and interfere with the keying process. Number three, set up a green screen background in a well-lit area. Number four, light the subject and the screen. Use bright, even lighting to illuminate both the subject and the green screen background. This helps to ensure that the green color is consistent throughout the video, and makes it easier to remove in post-production. You can also use natural light or household lamps. Number five, position the subject. Place the subject or object. In front of the green screen, making sure they are not too close to the background to avoid casting shadows. Number six, the subject should also avoid wearing clothes that is the same or similar color as the background, as this can cause parts of the subject to be cut out as well. If you have a tripod. It is highly recommended to use. It helps to ensure that the camera remains steady and stable throughout the shoot. This is especially important when shooting a green screen video, as any movement or shaking of the camera can cause the background to appear uneven and will affect keying in post production. The poor lighting caused part of the hair to be cut out. This is an example of the bluish color that is cut out. What tools to use? Recording tools. You can use a camera, tablet, smartphone, or laptop, etc., to record the footage of the subject or object in front of the green screen. You can also use apps such as Photo Booth, QuickTime Player, Zoom, Screencastify, etc., to record the footage. Editing apps. You can use video editing software such as. Wave video, iMovie, etc., to remove the green screen and replace it with a new background. This process is called keying, or chroma keying. 
Students shooting footage activity, fifteen minutes. Five, overview video editing software, We Video. What is a We Video? We Video is a web-based video editing platform that allows users to create and edit videos online. It offers a range of features for video editing. Including adding text transitions and effects, as well as to collaborate with others on video projects. One of the features offered by We Video is chroma keying, which is the process of removing the solid color background, such as green or blue, from a video and replace it with another background. Please follow the instructions. First, log in to your We Video account. Create a new project. Import your green screen footage and the background footage you want to use into We Video project. Click Browse to select. Select the video footage you shoot. From your computer, your Google Drive, or wherever you have saved it, and also other images or videos that you want to use as your replacement background. First, drag the image you want to use as the background onto Video One track in the timeline. Second, drag your green screen footage. Onto Video Two track, above the background track, and position it where you want it to appear in the video. Third, select the green screen footage on the timeline. Then, click on the editing button. Click on the keying button. Click on the keying button, and then. Click on the green area of the footage you want to remove. Crop the green screen footage by using the horizontal sliding bar and vertical sliding bar. Position the green screen subject where you want it to be. In We Video, you can have more than two overlays. Preview your video. To make sure everything looks the way you want it, click color to enhance the green screen videos. Use the brightness and the contrast sliders to adjust the brightness and the contrast of your footage to look more natural and blend better with your background. Use hue. To make the spectrum of the primary colors more visible, use the saturation slider to make your foreground footage look more vibrant and realistic. Use temperature to make your foreground footage look more balanced between blue and orange. Just to play with the sliders to get the result you want. Click text to add title to your video. You can choose the style you like and drag it to the part of the video you want it to be. Double click it to edit the text. Type the title of your video in the box. When you are done, you can drag the title to the place where you want it to be. You can put it on the top or at the bottom. Click audio on the tool panel on the left. We Video has a large selection of the songs and music in the library. Listen to the songs and music, and then choose the one you like for your video. Drag the song to the timeline below. If you already have sound in this video. You need to add a track, and then drag the song to the timeline. When you finish the video, you can pick Finish 
on the top right. Give a title for your export. Choose the destination where you want to save your video and click export on the top right. iMovie is a video editing software application developed by Apple Company for all Apple devices. It allows users to edit and create professional looking videos with a variety of tools and features such as adding titles, music, green screen, and other special effects. iMovie is user friendly and it is accessible to both amateurs and professionals. If you have an iPad or MacBook, you can shoot a green screen footage and edit it with the same device. For iPad users, use your finger to slide from up right corner down. Choose the video icon to shoot your green screen footage. Once you finish it, the footage is saved in photos. Click iMovie icon to start new project. Click Movie at the bottom right corner. Click Create Movie at the bottom. Click Photos. <coughs> Select the image or images that you want to use as your video background. Drag the image to the timeline below. Click Exit button on the top right to import more media. Click plus sign on the top right to import more media. Click Videos. Select the green screen footage from your photo library and select green-blue screen. iMovie will automatically remove the green screen and replace it with a transparent background. The process is called keying or chroma keying. Then you need to crop the footage. To crop the footage, you need to highlight the green screen footage and click Overlays at the bottom. Select Cut Away. Click the magnifying symbol on the top right, pinch your two fingers and spread them out on the screen until you get the result you want. Then you need to click Overlays again at the bottom and select green-blue screen. You can have as many backgrounds as you want. Adjust the timing and the placement of your background footages to match your green screen footage. Add any additional effects to your video as desired, like picture-in-picture -picture, or split screen. Add title by clicking T at the bottom. Select the style you want. Type your title and drag it to wherever you want it to be. Add music by clicking audio in the middle right. Choose soundtracks or my music. Choose the music you want. Highlight the music and click the plus sign to add the music onto your video. You can trim the music, highlight it, position it where you want it to be, and click split. When you finish your movie, click down on the top left. Change the name of your movie from my movie to any name you want. Then click the upload icon at the bottom. Choose save to files. The movie will be saved in your photo library. Then you can upload it to Google Drive or YouTube.